And welcome back to Power Hits 101. It is Stan the Man, and it is time for that two of a kind special with my co host. I want to introduce to you people, Mr. Todd. What's up, Mr. Todd? What's up, guys? What's up, ladies? How y'all doing? <laughs> you know, he had to say hello to the ladies, man. I don't blame you about that one. Yeah, I always got to say hello to the ladies. You know, they, they speak up when you don't mention them. So, that's you know. right. That's right. <laughs> Hey, look, Mr. Todd, he's growing that beard for you ladies and all that. You know, I wish y'all could see him now, you know, because he's zooming in right now, so he's ready for the ladies, so. Oh, yeah, you know what they say about the beard, man. You know what make it grow, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> look at you talking that smack already. Oh, man. <laughs> so, anyway, man, on Two of a Kind, what we do is we compare things that are alike. So, the first topic on Two of a Kind. What would you take? This is something real simple. Paper clip mm. or a binder? Which one? Hey, give me give me a binder all day, man. Give me a binder. It's like it's like it makes it makes your paper more like more transportable, you know. I'm always on the move, being on set and whatnot. You like you're not gonna see a PA with a stack of papers and a paper clip. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see them with a binder and some like dividers in that thing. So give me a give me um a binder all day, man. Well, well see, okay, for me it depends. If it's like three, four pieces of paper, you know, I want a paper clip, you know. Now, if it's like 10, 15, 20, then yes, it's going to be a binder. But I can't put a binder on three pieces of paper. You ever notice how it, mm -hmm. I, it'll just, you can remove them quickly from that. They're going to fall through. You get the binders with the folders in it so you be good. Well, yeah, you know what? That That's true. I can't do that. But I will say this. There are those really mini binders that I think are pretty good. But for me, what I mm -hmm. would do... I think I prefer a paper clip in, in some cases because you could get the small paper clips and the big ones. But the one thing I do like about the binders is how they fold across and they kind of make it look neat and tidy. But when you put it in that right. book bag, man, them binders going to break. Yes, yeah, especially you got a lot of books. Like going <laughs> to Clark and Lennon and whatnot, you know. Exactly. It gave you a lot of books. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's they right. Make sure you buy them books, even though you only use for two of the classes, two um, assignments. But they made sure you got them books. That's right. And, and by and by the way, ladies and gents, you just heard him say Clark Atlanta. He is a former student of mine, you know. And later on in the show, he's gonna tell us about things that he's doing, how he just got his MFA and all that. I like that about him. So, yeah. So, but anyway, so a uh, second topic on two of a kind. A million dollars is one mile away. So listen to this, Mr. Todd. But in order to get this million dollars, right. you have to crawl on ice or crawl on cement on your bare knees. So it's a million bucks. And, and let me tell you what type of ice. I ain't talking about that ice skating ice. I ain't talking about that hockey ice. I'm talking about ice ice. Okay. Meaning that this is like the same ice you get out the freezer, the same ice that comes in the ice bags that you get from the convenience store. So all of that is poured on the ground. And you got to get on your knees and crawl for that money on that ice, or you got to do it on cement. Which one would you take? Bare knees. Give me the, give me the cement, man, because, you know, like that ice, like at least the cement, like it can all be flat. That ice can be all jagged and cold and stab you. And like you might get a, you might get a, spare, you might get like a straight pebble or two in your knees with the asphalt, but like, yeah, yeah. Then the ice ain't no joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it ain't no joke. You know, I, I was going back and no. forth with this one because, you know, I'm okay with, you know, I love ice and everything, even though I prefer heat over cold. And I said, well, you know what? I probably can make it on some ice. You know, maybe I'll be drinking me a soda while I'm doing it. Or maybe drinking some coffee just to, you know, save me from the, from the cold. But, but <laughs> I don't know. Thinking about it, I think I, I, I agree with you on that one. I think I would do the cement. And here's why, because I think about your knees are going to get so numb on that ice that you may not even make it that whole mile. So I know if I was doing it, I don't think I would make it. But by doing it on the cement, crawling on the cement, my knees going to get messed up now. They're going to be jacked up. They're going to be bleeding and everything. But hey, at least I got a million dollars. I got a million dollars to take care of that. You know, I, look, I'll, I'll spend about 10000 of that million on getting my knees fixed. <laughs> and mm -hmm. then that way I'll have the rest of the meal to play with. 
we have the money we have the money we can rebuild them yeah that's right that's right definitely <laughs> so last topic on two of a kind so this is a good one so check this out you need a pep talk from one of these two groups of great minds those groups of great minds are the first group maya angelo and barack obama or dr king and oprah winfrey so which one would you take now you can only take two of them so you can only take the team of maya angelo and barack obama or dr king and oprah so which one of these teams would you take give me um oh that's hard because like um all of them are voices of their generation mm -hmm. so but um obama got people out there to go vote and whatnot mm -hmm. and um MLK got people to get up out their houses and march in the streets and fight for civil rights. That's true. That's true. So I think I'm gonna have to go for I think I'm gonna have to go with MLK and um his group. Okay. MLK and Oprah. Yep. Yeah. But but you know, think about this though. Barack gonna really prepare you. He gonna say, uh, Mr. Todd, um, I want you to sit down here and um listen to me. So <laughs> you know, my Barack Obama impersonation, right? And then here, here go Maya Angelou. Let mm -hmm. me tell you something, sweetie. You could go out and you could do this. Then she gonna have all little quotes and all that listed out. And she, so that's a tough one, mm -hmm. man. Because I think those two will really prepare you. If you really think about it, right? You know, mm -hmm. Oprah. Oprah would prepare you. I think I would. I would lean more toward Dr. King and her group. You know, because but I think Oprah will give you a nice subtle pep talk and say, "Okay, uh, sweetie, what you should do is blah blah." blah. But here's why I would agree with you on this one. Because I think at the end of after I get the pep talk and after I do my thing, where I got to give a speech, teach a class, whatever it might be, in which they were preparing me for, I think Oprah would slip me a bill. And she'd be like, "Here you go. You know, you did really. You, you did. You <laughs> did. Meal? Really, you did really good. You know. Yeah. She would slip me. She would slip me a meal because she would say, "Hey, look, you did really good. You know, because right. you uh, <laughs> because now think about it. Because she's the one out of the four with the money. You know, she. I mean, could you imagine if if Oprah did that? She got so many millions. She would probably be like, "Hey." You know, just take a million dollars and just call it a day yet. Because you did really good. And I prepared you really well. Right. You know. <laughs> I don't know. That that's a tough one though. <laughs> that's a tough one. So so you're gonna take Dr. King and Oprah? Yes, sir. All day, every day, right? I thought that would be a really good test for you. Listen to full episodes of Power Hits 101, giving you the latest in R&B, hip-hop, and cool conversation. Tune in on the Mixcloud app or at Mixcloud.com.